Yeah, if you want to. Hello, everyone. Hi, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, oh, wait, let me grab Peggy's headphones for her, too, so she can jump into this with us tonight. Uh, you might hear a little bit of clicking. Apologies for that. Um, thank you for popping in and joining us. Um, so tonight we're going to do things a little bit different. Uh, we were going to focus on doing some reveals. Um, we've seen some requests come from the audience that they wanted Peggy and I to open some. And honestly, we have not opened one uh, since the mint itself on Tuesday. So it's yeah. been, what, five days mm -hmm. um, since we've had the ability to, to I've, actually open one. I've been watching everybody else open theirs. Yeah, so same. that's been fun. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, always got to build. So uh, right after mint, uh, there's still plenty of things to do and a, a whole new community, right? So everybody jumping into Discord. A lot of people on X and, and all in different ways. So it's been really great to interact with everybody. But, yeah, um, really. No, it has yeah. been. So it's been packed. Uh, so we thought, you know, why not? Let's let's open uh, some crates with you guys. Yeah. Um, you know, we want to do something special tonight, too, for people that are turning in. So um, we're going to go through and open these and, and see what we have. But uh, if we have anything good, um, we'd like to do some trivia with you guys tonight. Yeah. Uh, from the books and I don't know, maybe you'll, maybe you'll just get something. Maybe it'll just be airdropped to you. I don't know. Let's see what happens, but it has to be a good one. So <laughs> let's see what we find. Um, let me see. What, was there anything? Yeah, I see GM. Uh, so I don't read GM as good morning anymore. I only read that as grandmaster after I saw what, who was it? It was Shader who did yeah, that. Shader. Yeah. Shader who made the, the, the meme. Uh, so GM to everyone. Grandmaster. Grandmaster to everybody. Yep. <laughs> uh, let uh, me pull up. Thank you for the good luck. Um, yeah, this is really funny. I mean, we, we wanted to handle things differently for this project. So um, when we went to uh, mint the journals and, and give journals to people, we specifically asked our team to um, not give us the good ones to push everything out into the audience. Um, but I did notice that we still have a zero two uh, crate. Um, so let's we'll see what that ends up giving us from bubblegum violet side of things. Yeah. Um, Hey, I see Shader made it. Yo, what's up? Hello. Hello. Um, let me see. Hold on. I think that we had some things we wanted to cover, and I'm just I'm just gonna kind of go back and see if there's anything. I don't want to miss anything. Let's um, see. Also, I wanted to. I didn't get to do it, but I wanted to put this live um, onto the Discord. Um, so if anyone wants to help me with that, or I can throw it over there too. Let's see. I'll chuck it over there. Let me do that. Thank you. Sorry. Um, running, uh, if you all can, please uh, help share the video. Yeah. Um, give it a like, if anything. So, what, 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 uh, me and Robert call ourselves, we're the interns at Copy Drill. Yeah. So we're like, okay, hold on. We, uh, we are the CEOs, but we are also the interns um, <laughs> yes. here at Hydro. We've uh, we've been interning for 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, it's been really exciting. Um, our bosses are really brutal mm -hmm. uh, to us, but you know, we love what we do. Um, and we're here for it the whole time. Trevor, welcome. I see you just made it. GM to you. Um, what did you say? So since all mech suits are made by the upper cities, is it safe to say all suits are Emerald Hand? Ooh, good question. Um, so not all mech suits are made by the upper city. A lot of the mech suits were designed by um, the Union of Arms um, over many decades. Uh, however, the patents to those suits were handed out to all the other upper cities and the unions. Um, so definitely the Marklings build their own suits. And what you see amongst Emerald Hand, those are more militaristic suits than the other two clans have. Um, however, uh, these suits in particular, and if you guys were following the story over on uh, Twitter as it was playing out, and there'll be more of these, um, Kyoko uh, was following up with uh, uh, Jasper. I believe that's his name, right? Um, so Jasper, you'll meet in the game, but he also pops in on storytelling once in a while. And he has his hands in some specially upgraded mechs that um, kind of uh, go against some of the upper city's uh, rules around the suits. Um, and because the upper city couldn't distribute those themselves, uh, Kyoko, even though she's from the upper city, she had to work with Jasper um, to distribute these suits amongst the clan. So these spark suits are different than even the ones the military use um, and are specially designed for uh, the clans themselves and their special abilities. 
uh, and what they do. So that's just a little bit of lore, a little bit of storytelling that's been playing out over on our X account um, through uh, the different um, little bits of story drops we've been doing. Uh, but all of that feeds into the narrative and story that's going to be in the game. Um, so you can see all that being sort of like backlogged. Hey, everybody, welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, I know we're just sitting here. Uh, I'm waiting for the view queue to build up. We're almost at 500 people right now that are popping in. GM to you guys as well. Yeah, um, thanks for jumping in last minute, guys. That's yeah, yeah. Thank 11 you. hour, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, an alert. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, uh, I saw someone say awesome lore drop. Um, we'll always have story and lore to continue giving you guys. Um, and there's more that's about to start coming to the website again uh, because we have a lot more things planned for you. Um, mm -hmm. These spark suits were just the first mega drop into the Kydro intellectual property and they feed into everything. Um, so, you know, like I saw some people uh, uh, making fun of people for paper hands, but I would suggest you hold on to them because there's going to be a lot of awesome rewards and things coming um, to the holders of these. Um, great. Uh, well, you know, we have about 600 people in here right now. Yeah. Should we roll our first one? Yeah, I think Two so. Um, let's do it. I feel like I was going to cover some other stuff. But oh, I, I'm sorry. Do you have I something? just don't. I, obviously, I don't remember. <laughs> well, <laughs> there were some things we wanted to, to yeah. cover around an article uh, that was written oh, about right, us. Yeah. Um, it was a really great article that was done by uh, Decrypt. Decrypt. Yeah. Um, there was a few things I think that were slightly overlooked that we had mentioned, mm -hmm. um, but the title does say uh, RPG. So this is an ARPG, just to be um, exact. I want to make sure that's clear. Really granular. It's really granular detail, but it matters because you know I see certain people ask us. They thought this was purely an RPG. Um, you know, why is there uh, people fighting people? Well, this is an action RPG with PVP elements. So um, you'll be going up against other players in the game. You'll be going up against the environment and a story will be unfolding around you the entire time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, like what you guys will see um, uh, in all of this is that, you know, that the story stuff is not popping up yet. That's going to happen when the season begins. Yeah. So for now, we're really focusing just on gameplay, but there is a whole story. Also, there's a really big thing to cover. Um, we've been seeing people message us. There's people who like it. There's people that um, want us to change it. It's too hard for us to change at this point. But oh, yeah. um, there was an error with the renders for Emerald Hand um, for a few of them, not wow. all of them. This is very interesting, though. So, um, you know, if you look at Bubblegum Violence, if you look at Grimbone, um, you'll see that it's just their mechs jumping around on screen. But on some of the Emerald Hand uh, uh, renders uh, and their final NFTs, you'll see a little white thing moving around if you look really closely in some of them. That's actually a mouse. Um, a that cursor. It was yeah. a cursor from, I believe, in Unreal. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it was captured. It must have just been directly in the Unreal system. Um, but our team rendered all of these personally. It took about 27 hours for each clan to get rendered. Um, and one member rendered one set, another member rendered another set. The funny thing that happened is that he would come by and check his computer once in a while, yeah. just to wake it up and see how the renders are going. And it captured his cursor, his mouse like, wait, in wait. there. So, you know, it's not just some bot thing that was happening. It's actually the signature of our lead game designer, mm -hmm. um, and game director, uh, who was helping render those things out. So. The reason why I'm bringing this up is that some people think this makes them more rare. Other people want us to change it because they want theirs to be pristine. I'm in the camp that I think this makes them extremely rare. Um, I am super OCD when it comes to looking for details. If you watched how we made this collection, I spent two years reviewing different types of documents and things like that that we had created to make sure everything would work going from the game to the, the NFT sets to the comics, all these different areas, because there's was, was just such a vast thing we were covering. Mm -hmm. And so there was a lot, a lot of quality insurance that went into uh, the entire collection. So for me to miss something like that, and also we had our entire team scrape and look at all 10,000 uh, renders when we first did them, many eyes also missed those cursors. Um, it, it's fast. It's yeah. fast when you see it move around. So it's like, I do appreciate that if you guys are seeing it, it's because you're staring at it. Yeah. Like I'm like, hey, do you guys have it on screen? Just kind of playing. <laughs> that's that's great. Can you, can't you hand me that deck yeah. real quick too? Sorry to interrupt you. No problem. You can keep going. No worries. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you guys see it, but there are people that have mentioned that they are buying them up. Any one of those that have like a cursor because they're all different, like cursor, the way it moves. Um, like we said, it's like the signature of our uh, lead game designer. So I don't know if you guys can see this very well. Um, yes, I do keep this in a plastic sleeve so you can kill me later. But this uh, is a No Shadow first edition Charizard I collected as a kid um, through a pack that I pulled. Um, and I'm very much a believer in these types of rarities. Again, you know, Pokemon quality insurance is massive for them uh, uh, with looking through the entire project. Um, so I very much view this cursor mistake as a digital version of the No Shadow First Edition Charizard. Um, so uh, yeah, there, there's that fact there for Emerald Hand having the, uh, the cursor. It should make yeah. them more rare in my opinion. Let's see you guys can find them. Uh huh. All right. Great. Yeah, those were the two talks. Thank you for covering that. <laughs> no, thank you. It came into the top of my head too. Brain. Um. Well, welcome everyone. No shadow charts. Though. Everybody's freaking out. Yeah, I just keep that uh, next to my desk. I'm really afraid to send it out and get it um, graded. Graded because I don't want it to get damaged or hurt. So don't I'm just kind Scott. of. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it to myself. Um. Cool. Uh, well, now that we have um, over a thousand people here, thank you Great. Uh, for joining Let's us. Do Let's start doing this reveal. Um, yeah. We're going to do one at a time. We'll stop and talk about it with everyone here for a mm -hmm. bit. We'll see if I can shut my mouth for a bit. No, no, no. Well, like, uh, I think it's good to hear about the stats or, you know, kind of what we have here. Um, overall, I believe it was 10. 10 yes. that we're going to open. Um, we have four Bubblegum Violence. We have three Grimbo. And then we have three Emerald Hand. Yeah. Um, and we'll bring up the numbers as well. So let's see what we got here. Oh, it's number two. Our first one's number two that we have here. Should we save this one for later? Yeah, let's save that one. Okay, yeah. we'll come back Probably. to it. Um, next one up is a number eight. Yeah. All right, so we got a few rare ones here. Um, let's do it. You want to do it? Yeah. All right. Let's so crack. the first one we're going to open is Bubblegum Violence tonight. Um, hashtag number eight. So... Um, I haven't even had too much of a chance to do this myself. You know, we did a lot of test net early on. Yeah. Um, but I haven't actually hit the reveal button. So now I'm getting kind of sweaty. I'm getting nervous. Okay. Nervous. <laughs> okay. Confirm. Okay. All right. Oh. Hey. Okay. Oh, we got a lightning jazz. Nice. And got medium. Uh, the trait. Where's the tier at? This one, officer. oh, officer. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep. All right. We just pulled an officer. Yeah. I want uh, to talk a little bit about this. And I think like development, I'm just, I think yeah. it's, kind of, um, uh, it's quite a process when I got to this. I, I've been having people hit me. Should I actually jump over to the Mavis market to see a little bit better, uh, bigger too? Yeah. Or you can zoom in. Let me, uh, let me refresh. I don't know if I can zoom in on that one. There, there we it go. Is. Um, oh yeah, those eyes. So the story behind uh, these mechs and Wow, I love the graphics on this one. Yeah. Um, so the, the story behind these guys and, and how we built them out, um, there's a lot of different traits you'll see. People have been asking questions about them. Um, for us, we wanted to create as much of a unique voice for each mech as possible. So like this one's using Lightning Jazz as a graphic set. Um, you know, you have different types of rarity parts like clan parts, um, uh, other types of parts that are mixed into that set, color values. Um, all of those are meant to add up to the most rare mech. However, there are some that I've noticed on the Grandmaster that have come out with a lot of common parts. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't necessarily make them lesser as a Grandmaster, um, as the title will matter later on in terms of people um, you know, having to work together and helping um, strategize and play out how uh, these fights are going to go out um, yeah. in the clan battles. Um, but really, the rarity uh, is coming through the background tier and how parts and pieces are mixing together and what's being pulled. Um, cool. That was our mm -hmm. first one. And quick thing, too. I think the, the graphic, I don't think we've talked about this in, mm -hmm. very much. So you see in the background, you see the Vulcan Violence like logo, and then you see the XO. And then when we get to the, you know, XO means the so, officer. Yeah, I mean, each clan has their own style of doing this um emerald hand treats it more military style so it's like rank bars moving up um you know grim bone treats this as a slash system like through kills um in terms of where their ranks are at 
And then, of course, bubblegum violence, you know, mm -hmm. hugs and kisses. Mm -hmm. um, that's what their X's and O's are, although they're pretty poisonous. So, you know, as you get four or I guess two of each of X and O's up the rank, that's when you approach Grandmaster. That's the same thing with Grim Bone when you get six slices, that'll also be a Grandmaster. Yeah. And the same and then that's the same too for uh, emerald hand and then the banner color is like a little more like saturated as it goes up yeah oh, looks like i have to reconnect one second all right we're back let me see if there's any questions over here real quick yeah, before i dive good. into the next one uh, let's see i'm looking let's someone see. said i'm late can we earn parts in game or can you only get via minting so the game itself it think of it mostly as a traditional web 2 game we don't want to let uh we don't want to we want everybody to be able to join this game and fight each other and we want the competitive nature to be completely fair in terms of players fighting each other everything you're earning is happening on the website through you playing the game we'll have quests that are, are going to be on there you already see quests on the website but there's going to be quests that are tied natively to the game think of it like xbox live as they unlock and there you're going to be earning points and rewards that will lead to future things I can't necessarily talk about, but they're coming out in like the next like couple of weeks and months at this yeah. point. Um, so hang tight. There's a lot of really great stuff coming in those areas. Um, but in the game, you will be able to collect like parts that you find uh, out in the outlands. Mm -hmm. And that's where you build your stats. You can think of it a lot like Diablo, like you're mixing all these parts and pieces. Your mech doesn't look great, but you have your NFT as a skin to put on top of it. Yeah, I mean, that was, like, one of the newer things I liked from, I mean, it sounds new, but, you know, original, you know, Diablo 2 doesn't allow for you to, like, override the look. Only, like, the newer ones allow you to override it. And so, you know, and Warcraft has done it, many other games have done it, but um, for us, it's like, you know, take what you like, and, you know, we were able to bring it into this game. So, again, yeah. you know, the, the parts that you get from the NFT doesn't give you actual stats, because that would totally mess with the system. Rather, it's more equal. You guys have to find it in the game. I see a question here from Axie Forever mm -hmm. saying, so clan parts mean nothing? Uh, that's pretty extreme. No. Um, you know, when you reach a lord or like a grandmaster, one of three, um, those have their own sets of rarities behind them, and they're all clan parts and pieces. Um, that's why it matters based on like what parts you have that get you to that, that final, I guess, echelon of like what the one of top three are for uh grandmaster and also the lord um as well yep will there be a mobile version building towards that the game was actually built with mobile in mind but we're releasing on pc first so all the texture shaders everything i've seen was yeah. built for mobile it's um, fairly fairly light <laughs> felipe is asking some gameplay um not tonight just mm -hmm. because we don't have our team here to play with us mm -hmm. um but we will be doing a gameplay test next week like we've been doing um, consecutively ghost thank you for asking a question what do we got i read out loud yeah i said uh ghost says uh so if we collect the parts that give oops yeah it gives all right sorry guys it's moving stats so if we collect the parts that give stats and can mix and match them and can we still exchange parts on this on of the skin or are we bound to how it looks now let's see mix and match oh. them and our suits will be put over okay so the, the skin parts you have from nfts are always going to be interchangeable if you have a few different nfts mm -hmm. um or you can just use it as a single skin across the entire map. right so it's like the whole yeah suit you know that look straight from your nft or you're just kind of picking parts based on the multiple NFTs uh, that you have. Now you're good, Ghost, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I believe that parts will be more checked once game is out, like Axie. I'm not sure what that one means, but... Shall we open it up? Um, yeah. Um, Shader, you asking about the roadmap in white paper? Um, we do have a version of the roadmap uh, that we're talking about releasing soon, but it's a difficult one because we have a very uh, uh, ambitious roadmap uh, ahead of us this year, um, and we want to make sure we can stay ahead of all those things. Yeah, it's like one of those things like, you know, we can also we can say it, but also it's like we have the plans, well, it's just timing is going to be a thing, so. Yeah. 
we don't we basically don't want to over promise we have a lot set up but we don't want to over promise too soon so well no soon enough uh been strategizing been kind of laying things out but okay you guys will i want to ask you the audience everyone who's here right now which one do you want us to open next do you want us to do emerald hand Grimbone or bubblegum violence you guys are so you're like when's the next mint very soon <laughs> what huh uh, okay, I'm getting my first poll right now. Bubblegum Violence. Grimbone. Emerald Hand. Oh my god, you guys are coming in quick. Uh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I said we go with the first one and said Bubblegum Violence. They were quick at it. So. I'm seeing a lot of Grimbones pop yeah. in right now, though. Uh, Grimbone? Alright, let's do a Grimbone. Oh, almost a Bubblegum, though. Uh, this is Grimbone 244. All right, let's see what we get. Roll the dice. What do we get? Bling. And oh, it's a grandmaster. I can tell by the background already, but tier wow. grandmaster. Check that out. Nice. Let's go check out over in the Sky Mavis marketplace. Let's see. You need to do a refresh. Might need to do a refresh. Yeah, let me refresh this. One second. There you go, buddy. All right. I did not expect us to pull a Grandmaster wow. Grimbone. Okay. As you can see, the background fully saturated red on the logo. You get the slashes all across. We have like the five slashes counts as a uh, Grandmaster. And then what's the skin? I, I, uh, if we look at the stats, I believe we're getting um, the colors scorched earth. That was cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then the chassis is a medium. Yeah. You got the hot orange emissive. Oh, is that the eyes? Though? Yeah, yeah. The it gets the like... orange eyes. Or the yeah, it yeah. has. They turn out a little bit more gold here on this That's one because cool. the body is more gold. But yeah, that turned out nice. Yeah. Co cohesiveness looks. Great. Love the skin color too. Yeah, same here. Um, uh, droid, you're still looking for the cursor on the emerald hand. Yeah, I mean, see that that's the thing, you know. There's like what 3,333 of them. Yeah. It's like uh, the batch, you know, it's like some of them have a little like cursor. Sorry, I'm just catching up with what you guys are saying over here. Uh, wow, that one's cool. Nice. This one actually has a lot of parts too. So a, a bit about the story about Grimbone, like just mm -hmm. to talk about their their like lore and heritage where they're from. They're all about scavenging parts and building out their own sort of suits and mechs. So, you know, obviously Jasper uh, was the one who helped provide these mechs to the clans. Um, so you're going to see military parts in them. Some of these parts are the parts that Huxley's suit is made up out of from the comic. But there's other parts in there that it looks like Grimbone wouldn't add it in themselves. Like the knees, we can tell, are different here um, between each other. Um, we have the same shoulders as Huxley's. But there's other parts that are a bit different throughout the the mech I'm seeing. That is so cool. Sharp, real sharp. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Next bubblegum. All right, so I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing people requesting bubblegum next. Um, I'm up to do that. How yeah, do you let's feel? Do it. Thank you, Grimbone, for that awesome opening. We'll do a little recap on these after. Yeah. All right. Let's go for 191. Let's see what we got there. Drum roll. Oh, all right. What did we get? This one. Oh, this one should be a master. Yep, mm -hmm. it's a master tier. Nice. That's not bad either. Very nice. Uncommon. Uncommon. A little refresh. Yeah, over on uh, yeah, Mavis. Mavis Place. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we can talk a little bit about the art and kind of how it came to be and, you know, kind of the thought process behind it as well. Uh, oh, man, this, this head. So this one, uh, this actually, I think that the two prior we opened were all mediums. Mm -hmm. This is a light uh, spark suit. Um, so the light spark suit uh, is just that. It's meant to be a quick runner, um, especially in the game. Gets you around real fast. You can boost real quick um, to target your enemies from behind. Mm -hmm. um these you can think of you know the reason why we don't call these mecha we always refer to them as spark suits at the end of the day is that there is a person inside of that and it's relatively their proportions like a medium class mech is about nine feet tall 
uh, human legs actually go into the mech's legs, um, but their arms stay inside of the medium class mech. The light uh, spark suit, though, you're seeing here, um, the arms actually connect at the human arm. So a human's arms are in there. There's just extenders that stretch out the human arm by another two feet. Um, and that's the same thing for the feet. There's uh, leg extenders. That's why we can go really thin on those legs. There's leg extenders that are about four, or no, there's about leg extenders about two feet on those as well. Um, they're almost like stilts, but there's supposed to be a person inside that thing that's moving like an Iron Man suit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why you always say like the clan battles, it's, you know, your story. So, um, what else is about these guys? Oh, um, Robert, so this one's a light. Uh, like we said, the last two were medium. Um, if you guys have been watching the gameplay, you know that there's three like chassis you can pick from, light, medium, heavy. So if you think about it, it depends what kind of game, like how you play, um, how you like to play, right? Some people don't ever want to do heavy. But if you want all three, then it, it would make sense to hunt down some NFTs that are one of or all three uh, chassis. Uh, I see a question here saying any lore slash background around uh, rank symbols like the XOXO for bubblegum violence. So, yeah, I mean, you know, from a lore standpoint, um, the idea here is that if you're a brand new member, you're obviously starting out at something like a runner, uh, like our lowest level in the space. And then as you progress, you're getting a new suit. You're moving up in those ranks, and that's how you approach to being a grandmaster. But eventually, when you're a lord, you're supposed to be an owner of the actual clan itself. Um, and that's sort of the ideal of the ranking system that we see in the background. Um, these clans are already starting to actually pop up in Comic 4. Um, yeah. You're going to see bubblegum violence sprayed throughout the city uh, in certain areas around the characters. And that's to really start to hone in the idea that Ava is going to meet these clans in the future. Um, that's why your clans matter so much is because they'll come up in the comic. They're going to come up um, in the animation series. Um, and they're going to be people that she partners with and works with um, as she progresses through her own journey. Great. Um, Looking over here, too. Let me see. Uh, someone asked, this is more for the game. I'm going to go back to opening crates in a second. But yeah. someone asked, how long does one battle last on average um, in the game? So like when we look at games like you know Apex Legends or Call of Duty, their battles last anywhere from like 20 minutes um, to 30 minutes, depending on you know how big those battle royale spaces are. We wanted to go a lot quicker because our end goal is mobile for what we're building. So our matches typically last anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes. However, if you get a team that's like, like multiple teams that are really good, which this happened in one of our play tests this last week um, with Cairo, Cairo was an absolute monster. Um, it went for, I want to say about 20 minutes. It was a lo much longer match because everybody was equally tied all the way up until the very end. Yeah, I mean, definitely like it takes a bit of tweaking. I think definitely the, uh, the alpha uh, close like testing will help us give kind of an idea because you know at what point are people too fatigued we can adjust so that's going to be a lot of like the balancing part that we're going to have to play with so um, it has to do with multiple factors like how buff is the boss um, you know how squishy is everyone else <laughs> you know all those things so we're going to be kind of defining or help help to refine that um, someone asked, can you talk more about the future animation series? Mm -hmm. um, what I can say is that the point of us doing these mints, um, because the Hydro game, the comic series are in such a good place of us building them and putting them out there. The point of these mints is to both give you all who are participating in this early access to everything we're doing and rewards in the future through participating with those uh, NFTs. But additionally, they allow for us to start developing the animation series privately and independently um, and say up the connections and networks that we need to in order to distribute that series. So we're in pre-production for the actual series itself. Um, simultaneously, we're also developing more cinematics, like the first cinematic that you saw uh, at the beginning of this year. So there will be another one um, that will be, well, all about the clans uh, yeah. later this year. Oh, so man, I'm so excited. I'm very, we're very excited for you it. get to see who's inside them <laughs> inside the spark suits um and let me go back a little bit robert i have okay somebody. gumbo uh said that they just picked up an emerald hand with a cursor <laughs> number 2164 damn yeah wow like, so good love that detail definitely a collector item i love it congratulations to you yeah that's so fun 
I mean, I wonder, actually, yeah, we'll take a closer look. We'll, we'll see. I, yeah. I don't think we've opened any Emerald Hands next. So yeah. I was about to ask the audience, which one should I open next? But based on this, maybe we should go for an Emerald Hand just to see mm -hmm. if we get a cursor. How does everybody feel about that? Emerald Hand? And? There's like a couple second delay here. So. I know. Um, let me see. Uh, Evie.ron, I have no idea what you're talking about. Let's see. I am, you said, uh, when Mystic Journal raffle. I mean, I won't say exact day, but some time this week. <laughs> it's this week. It's so this week. can't yeah. give you the actual day, but this week, one person is going to be getting the one of one. Um, uh, Mystic. Well, journal. the name will change the source. So source look out journal. for that. Yeah. Um, but uh, it will. It's up to you if you want to choose to activate it or not, or you can sell it. It's yeah. up to the owner who gets that one of one journal. But whoever ends up deciding to turn it in at the end of the day will be immortalized into the Kydro IP. We will draw you in um, as a reoccurring character uh, into the comic and future animation series. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll also build you out um, something in the game uh, as well. Uh, let's see, Real Ghost uh, says, since Kydro, we mainly PvP. Um, and will be balanced without giving uh, grandmasters, for example, an in-game bonus. Are you planning to go esports road? For me, it really has esports potential. Yeah, I think um, just because of our heritage and where we come from, the point was for the game to reach mass adoption, mass audience. Yeah. But we didn't want it to be like other games that we've worked on, where they're still absent of story when you're in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, they try to set up story around the outside, but it's usually pretty light we wanted the story to be integrated into the main game and around you as you're playing the seasonal quests and things like that, that we're going to have come up. So um, it will be very much built for arena style battles uh, and competitions like you're talking about. And that's the point of the plans on top of it. Play fire game says, I want a cursor emerald hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hunt it down. Let's see if we get one. Well, all right, let's pick an emerald hand next. Oh, we have a 009 here, emerald hand. Let's do it. So uh, here we go. Let's pop this one. And oh, that crate. Show me what's inside. Hey, Ooh, we, we got a heavy. Got a heavy. Uh, we got adept. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, okay, this one, uh, not the highest on the tier. Uh, this is second, I think, from bottom, maybe, because it has the crown. But yeah. let's see if we have a cursor on this one. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that, you know, we, we talked about a lot when we were developing uh, these skins and or, or these spark suits and, um, you know, the tiers that they would get. I don't know what I see. We wanted uh, people to feel, I mean, like, you know, just because you have like a different tier, or the lower tier, you know, runner versus adept versus grandmaster and all that. We wanted them to still be cool, like the you know the skins, the parts, all that is still cool. So yeah, don't see um, I don't see a cursor in this either. one, but in terms of parts, uh, common, common, uncommon, mm -hmm. um, aura. So it's a missive color uh, is pretty rare, but everything else it has is fairly common. Wave graphic is also mm -hmm. rare. Okay, let's take a look, closer look at it. Yeah. No cursor on this one though. Mm -hmm. I like the patterning. I, I do too. I like the I, I like the gold patterning. Yeah, on, I mean, like uh, to talk a little bit like behind the scenes of the development of the graphics and the patterns. Like, um, you know, our, our team member, our, our tech artist, uh, one of them, Paul. He's amazing. He's, he's when, when we're developing these, we're basically working with him on like how it overlays onto the uh, onto the spark suits. Uh, I mean, like it's like the it's like really meticulous because we get to the point where we, you know we see the triangles, but like super big, and we're like, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. So we'll try it like a little smaller, and then like keep resizing. So it was quite a process to make sure like that they the graphics read really well across uh, spark suits. Sorry, I'm over here laughing because I love yeah. this comment that Shader made. He said he just delisted his emerald hand with a cursor in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh, uh, that's funny. I love that's it. Good. And he's like, oh, let's put that away. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was kind of process on like every little bit of all of this. Uh, if you guys take a closer look, uh, the backgrounds, you know, we had to be real. The background, the, the development of like that exact background you guys see right now, just a couple of 
kind of like a newer choice. Yeah. So yeah. originally, um, you know, looking at NFT collections and the way they're made for gosh, almost two years, mm -hmm. we had the backgrounds actually just as a solid color um, with the clan logo on them. But as we finished up the animation series, as we were looking at the comic, we just realized, and we've had the animations of each of the spark suits for a long time. We've had them developed to the stage. Like the more we looked at it, it just, we wanted each NFT to feel like it just fell out of the animation series. Like it was a portion of it. Um, and we were fortunate enough that it was as simple as modifying the art we were already developing for things like the games to drop into the background. But then we specialized it, we enhanced it uh, for this unique experience. We changed it a bit um, by adding the banners and um, changing their color aesthetic and things. And I feel like it really helped lift it out of the traditional um, NFT look and establishing something new here um, mm -hmm. with this aesthetic. Yeah, you know, again, like Robert said, it's like having the animation trailer out and all that it really gave us, you know, one medium affects another as we do, you know, the comic and then you go to like a trailer animation is with NFTs, you know, it's the cohesiveness is what we're really like making sure that we can get that down. If you guys look a little closer to the effects, you see like when the, um, when the spark is like punching, when you see the, the kind of like smoke effect that comes up, that's all like hand drawn, like 2D animation so uh we take pride at that so it's really fun to see okay should we answer some questions or should we open another oh uh, let's open uh oh actually let's see so we've opened one from each clan yet and uh so far i'm sorry i think there's a lot of questions being tossed around but i haven't been able to see them all yeah let me um cursor okay so i see a lot of people saying cursor for what and i'm just realizing that when we started this uh, and we talked about the cursor. Yeah, there was like a thousand people. Now we're pretty much at three thousand people here. So thank you everyone for joining us and being a part of this tonight. What's the cursor for? Yeah, uh, can I get that deck one more time? Yes. Um, what we explained early on is that we've been meticulously building this collection for two years, especially because we had to develop some new technologies for it um, to work with our game and how it is. When we were rendering out each collection, each collection takes us about twenty-seven hours to render out properly. Um, and in that process of rendering out um, each of the, the spark suits, um, we split it between our teammates to do it. Um, so like one member was rendering bubblegum violence, another member was rendering Emerald Hand. However, the one that was rendering Emerald Hand had his computer on sleep. So he'd come by once in a while and just shake the cursor to see uh, how things were going on his screen. And apparently Unreal captured that in the process. And we're very meticulous. Like we've been looking at every detail of these things for two years. Um, and right before this collection went out online, we had our entire team sweep every asset, uh, all 10,000 uh, videos just to look for issues and the renders and things like that. I personally looked at least a few thousand of them, if not, uh, I didn't look at all of them, but I looked at a, at a lot. Um, never saw the cursor once. No one on our team ever saw the cursor once. Yeah. Um, and so if you look, some of the Emerald Hands, and this is only Emerald Hand it affected, and not all of them, just some of them. They'll have a little tiny cursor because these were rendered at 2K just wiggling around uh, around them. And that's our artist touching the mouse and just getting it to move for a little bit. So it's not like a bot that did it. It's a personal signature of the person who was rendering these. Um, personally, I'm a collector of Pokemon cards. Um, when I was a kid, I was really lucky. And I actually pulled a <clears throat> first edition No Shadow Charizard. Very hard to show here today because of the camera I'm using. Um, but I've had this ever since I was a kid. It's always been a form of like inspiration for the things I do and the things I kind of collect. Um, and I very much view uh, what happened with that cursor as sort of the first edition No Shadow Charizard because, you know, Nintendo, uh, Pokemon, um, they have a lot of people reviewing these things and yeah. doing quality assurance. And for that to miss, that made the No Shadow first edition Charizard more rare. Um, so that's going to be the same for Emerald Hand, uh, yeah. in my opinion. I think uh, Axiology said, will the team confirm the cursor will never be removed? Oh, yeah, we're not. It, we're not re-rendering no, these it's... things. It would require us to no. re-render, and then we'd have to pick the Pacific ones to do it. Yeah. Um, we just don't have time for that. So this is going to stay this way. We're not mm -hmm. going to get rid of them. Um, you know, we, we did change background image to tears, but the problem was that was actually something that was supposed to happen early on. Mm -hmm. There was a mix up with our team and it never got put into the metadata. So that was something we did choose to update um, after the fact when we did this. But um, 
personally other things we're not going to touch this like the collection is what it is shader says that you bought the cursor <laughs> one of the emerald hands with a cursor for 59.99 a few days ago oh shit <laughs> <laughs> that's great uh -oh. that's fun um let me go back a little bit to uh let's see i saw droidy said the books are amazing cannot wait for the animation thank you I mean, I'll show it here. Um, I don't. We haven't talked about it very much because obviously there's a lot going on. You guys, you know, we have the NFTs that we show. Um, we talk about animation and all that, but I also have to thank Ghost and Trevor for buying the books. Um, there's been quite a few of you, yeah. but um, I'll I'll hold hold these ones up too. But um, it might be hard to show here, but there's a lot of stuff going on here, um, like special uh, raised UVs. Uh, across the book on the front and the back. Um, these are the same comics that you can read over on Webtoons. Um, but every time we're building a comic, we're building it simultaneously for Webtoons and for physical print. Uh, we're doing the same thing right now for book four um, as well that we're about to release on Webtoons uh, in the next month. So we'll keep you guys updated about that uh, one. Something you guys probably can relate to right now is if you look at Huxley and take a look at the suit. Yeah, so we have concept art at the end of each one of these books that covers the different designs that we did. And some of these mechs show up, you know, from many years ago of all the different designs that we've done. Yeah, so the last uh, few pages, there's uh, between different books, there's one that has like 10 pages of art. There's another one that has like, I think this is like 30 pages of art or 40 pages. So it's kind well, of fun. I just had to reshare this on the screen real quick, but uh, yeah. Reason.Ron got uh, his Emerald Hand cursor or their Emerald Hand cursor. So oh, very, very nice, nice. very nice. Um, again, like I did say book four, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm hoping to share some art with you all soon, but the team has already done about 50 pages of that book. And that book is about 150 pages long. Um, so we're almost halfway through it currently. That um, one is a heavy book. Four, four is a very heavy book. A lot of emotional things uh, happen through that one, but bubblegum violence makes an appearance. What? Um, all right, I want to get back to opening some crates. I want to ask the audience here, what do we want to open next? Yeah, um, we still have a bubblegum violence. We still have an emerald hand. We still have a grim bone uh, to go through. So let me know. Give us a shout. Let's go. What do we want to see? Let me see. Um, I'm seeing bubblegum. Yeah. Let's go. Emerald. Bubble. I got two bubbles. I got an emerald and a grim bone, so I still have two bubbles. I got another bubble. All right, we're three bubbles in now. We got to do this. Um, All right, let's do it. Should we? You know, I was surprised the other one wasn't rare, so maybe we should just go for the 002. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's open a 002 bubble. bubble. And what do we get? Tier runner. Number two is a runner. I don't know how they predicted those lords, but these numbers are not lining yeah. up that way. <laughs> so, uh, all right, we got a base runner. Um, we're getting common parts. I really like the graphics on it, yeah, though. Graphic is cool. What kind of eyes we got? The missive. Yeah, I'm going to go reload this. Let's see a look. Yeah, so if you guys see the art uh, we just showed from book one, um, that's that same like chest. Piece. Yeah, that's the, yeah. the Huxley mech um, mm -hmm. from the uh, Union of Arms. Yeah. Um, so bubblegum violence is always meant to be loud, um, mm -hmm. very obnoxious, like in your face, uh, because they don't need to hide. Um, that's kind of where they come from, like their story background. If you read their comic, and for people who have done this, I hope you've read. Um, but there are clan comics that we have over on our YouTube that talk about each of the clans and who they are. Yeah. Um, it'll give you a better idea of what their personalities are and what they're like. Um, I, and we purposely made it like very short, very like quick read, 12 panels, uh, and gives you kind of just a little bit of background about each of them. Um, let's see. I'm disappointed with that one. So I'm going to go for another one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, open another package. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go for an emerald this high time. Yeah. I'll pick my own. Uh, this is a 096. So, so far, we've gotten one Grandmaster tonight. Yeah. Um, let's see. And yeah, we pulled a runner. Another heavy. Runner. Okay. Um, let's see if this one's a cursor, though. It's emerald. So, mm -hmm. 
Oh, there it is. All right, I'm looking. I don't see no cursor for this one. I don't see it. Yeah, no cursor. Um, we can talk a little bit about the design for this one. Yeah. Yeah, let's dive in. I guess you designed the um, chest. I designed that wing that it has wing. on it. So, you know, Peggy and I, I don't know how many people know this, but we started out as concept artists originally, like some 15 years ago. Um, and so I designed for Call of Duty for many years. So did Peggy. Mm -hmm. um, but the ones I worked on specifically was always zombie stuff. So I worked on like Shadows of Evil. Um, I designed that whole city. Um, I, uh, I worked on Black Ops 4, 3, um, mm -hmm. uh, Vanguard. Um, so there's a ton of different ones that I've worked on. Um, but then we've also worked on Apex Legends for many years as well. Um, uh, we've also worked on films. And so like a, a, my inspiration came from anime originally. I grew up with things like Akira, Evangelion, um, Cowboy Bebop. Um, all those inspirations, I feel like, lead to the mech designs that you see we have here. And Peggy and I are both inspired by a lot of those things. So, like, the head you see here, the big wing shoulder you see on one side, the chest, I helped design those things um, for the specific mech. Um, but we also had other members of our team that mm -hmm. were helping design out this collection that Peggy and I were working with. And so I don't remember exactly. It might have been Alice, I think, from our team who helped yeah. work on the legs and some of the arms and stuff, too we have on this one, but um, I want to say there's a good at least three artists who worked on all the mechs uh, yeah. you see here outside of Peggy and me. Yeah. So, I mean, they did a great job. Um, we'll, we'll share more over time too, all like behind the scenes of the art and stuff that you, um, that led up to all these. So we're real nerds about that stuff. So uh, the BTS lore, all that stuff, we'll, we'll always, we will always talk about that stuff. So um, someone asked here, do you, did you expect the Grandmaster floor prize? I did not. Um, you know, I'm honored that everybody um, is so excited by this project and feel the way they do about it. Um, I just, uh, I feel honored and lucky every day when I see how people are interacting with it and yeah. um, buying into the project. So I, I appreciate all of you. For X, you said, will there be future Kaido merch? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely something you guys will see really soon. Um, what we have is, uh, I mean, the first part is the books. The books will really give you the deeper dive into the world, kind of. There's also pins. Yeah, we have pins. I don't think we have the pins up yet, but it was part of the bigger Kickstarter that we had. This is actually my own personal jacket, and it has a ton of pins um, that run down the arm. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I have to like click over here. Um, but, you know, this has Ava's head uh, as a void. Kydra, oh, wow, you can't see this at all. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm just <laughs> blocking the mic now. But, yeah, um, there's, there's a ton of different, like, uh, types of merchandise we have. And, um, yeah, you can't see it on here. But we do have these over on our website for Gadgetbot. You can check them out over there. Um, We'll update you guys on them because I believe that we're doing a big update. It was up before, we took it down, we've got to get that consistency. So it will be out. Yeah, um, we sold out not too long ago on some of the things. That's why we're kind of like restacking. Yeah, right? like refreshing, refreshing. it. Um, I don't think I have it on this table, but there is the logo for um, Upper City. So we have one of those. Sad well. I see someone's comment. Sadly, I'm a gamer, so I can't read comics, but I'll buy it. it for, for your little brother. That's, little, awesome. that's really sweet. I, I appreciate you. I'll, what I'd say is maybe you and your brother should work together then on the website yeah. because the way the Kydro property works is that you may just be a gamer, but that won't give you all the points that you need in order to earn things. Yeah. Um, it will. The website works by you being involved on all aspects of the IP. By reading the comics, you earn quests. By playing the game, you earn quests. Um, so just something to think about. That's yeah. all I'll say. Yeah. I think, uh, I believe, was it Axiology earlier asking, like, is there a physical place uh, for Kydro? I think that, you know, it depends on the demand is, you know, there may be, maybe we do a meetup or something in the future. Um, but we'll see about that. So oh, I'd love to. That'd be great. Trevor <laughs> said, can Peggy show us her exo mech figurine? Uh, it's the one that Ava pilots remotely. 
So this is actually one I built a mm -hmm. long time ago. Uh, we use this to pitch Kydro, but this is also something we're building out towards right now. Um, so this uh, is the original. Can I bring it up, actually? Yeah. Oh, there we go. This is the original Kydro mech. Um, this is from uh, further back in their history. You can actually pull back a bit because yeah. the camera gets really blurry. There so I can hold it up here. But you can see how big it is next to our heads. Um, and so figurines are not something we're afraid to do here. Um, and yeah. it is something that we're working towards and, and building out towards um, as a whole. It has to do with the, our backgrounds as well. So one of the things we studied early on was is industrial design. So it's product design and we design products and vehicles. So, so keep it over naturally uh, <laughs> products uh, is a big part of our background. So we spent many years from our like teenage years all the way up to our mid twenties building you know, physical products. I think we can leave some alpha because we're an hour into this. I don't know how many people are going to watch this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we are making a grim bone statue suit right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'll share some images with you all, but remember all these assets we've built in 3D. And it's easy for us to turn them into model assets. So there's something coming for everyone who um, is interested in owning a statue and owns a grim bone NFT. Um, and there will be others for other clans as well. Mm -hmm. Speaking of grim bone, Let's go open a Grimbo and crate. Yeah. Uh, let me see. And I'll, I'll kind of look at the questions and comments that are coming in. Um, thanks, everybody, for sticking around. <laughs> yes, thank you. We're almost at 4,000 people. <laughs> All right. I just opened a Grimbo and crate. What did we get? We Wow. Why are we getting Grandmaster <laughs> Grimbones? We got another one. Dang. All right. Wow. Let's go check this out on the Mavis Place. This one has skulls. Um, I... Let's see the message. I guess what I need to see here. Do, 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 do. All right. What traits we got here? We got common left arm, common right, uh, rare, common, uncommon. So it's a lot of common parts. However, it has skulls, which are 90% uh, in terms of graphic sets. Nine, so that makes it more rare. Yeah. Right. It has a dusk uh, color, which is around nice. 10%. That's more rare. Uh, it's right knee is fairly rare at a 14 or a 12 percent has boxy animation which is at 13 mm -hmm. percent um pretty good and then of course it has the grandmaster um background that's great let's take a closer look no cursor in this one obviously because yeah. it's not emerald hand but oh this is fun i talked about this before and i shared it um that's like the head that i designed yes yeah a while years ago so um it's kind of funny to see it all pop up now that left shoulder too is yours let's see, let's see the flowy up. curvy one. Oh yeah yeah so that's <clears> part of the set as well um so yeah it's just kind of crazy to me you design something and it just kind of goes off into production and you're like oh hey there it is uh so that inspiration was like kind of like a falcon like bird like uh inspiration i had there uh let's see what questions oh um i thought i saw somebody mention something about the cursor not in this but at least their own um i i believe one of the things that uh that came up in this um chat was like people were asking do you have to have an nft to play the game no you, you don't have to uh, but you also play. won't be eligible for um the rewards on the website mm -hmm. you'll just be playing the game at that point which has its own seasonal content that'll be coming to it, but um, the website's its own unique thing that's um, built for the project. Um, okay, we have one of each clan left. We have a bubblegum violence, we have an emerald hand, uh, and we have a grim bone. Um, I'm in favor of opening the emerald hand to see if we get a cursor, but what does the audience think? What do you guys want us to open? Was it you, Shader, that you said your grandmaster has the cursor as well? That's pretty crazy. Wow, really? Please confirm. Please, yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw, I just see a lot of messages going by. So, yeah. Someone's like, I would start with Grimbone because we had two uh, grandmasters so far. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's go, Cursor. I see from someone else here. By taxes, you're asking how many do we plan to open today? Um, 10. So, I think we have just two left. We have three left. Three left. Yeah. Okay. So I see a mixed bag. People want me to open Grimbone because of Grandmaster's uh, rolling pretty hard, but other people want me to open Emerald Hand because of the cursor. <clears throat> oh, because we want to find that cursor. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to go for Emerald. Let's, yeah, let's see what we it. get. This is pretty far up there. Do you want me to take the mic? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to look around this big mech in front of me. It's just like hanging out. All right, this trait on this one is officer, so it's more up there. It has a lot of common parts. Um, we're gonna have to go check though on the Mavis Marketplace to see if it has the cursor. I wonder if I can find one tonight in general if we don't. Yeah, just one. to share with just you guys. Uh, with the shader you had yours, you could take a closer look at it. Yeah, if you can send me a link, uh, shader in Discord, maybe I can pull yours up. Let's see. I don't see no cursor on this one. No cursor. No cursor. So that's it for Emerald Hand tonight, then. We opened all of those. This one came out as an officer, I believe. Yeah, officer yep. tier at 12%. Um, mostly common, uncommon parts. Anything yeah, the, we have the, the right shoulder is the rare. Oh, the yeah, there percent. it is. Yeah, it's the right shoulder. Do you want to take a closer look at this one? Let's just like look at it. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Yeah. This one's really tank looking. Yeah, it's really beefy. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. There it is. Awesome. All right. Any questions, thoughts? I'm going to do see. a refresh real quick on our journal. Someone's asking, how do I check the cursor thing? It's literally a visual. You just have to look at your Emerald Hand very closely and see if there's a cursor moving around on it. If there's no cursor moving around on it, then you didn't get it. Um, that's not a trait. It's not It's not something we designed into the collection. Yeah. It happened on accident. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, if anybody wants to bring up a number of which uh, Emerald Hand to look at, we can do a search after. All right, we got two left. I'm going to go with Bubblegum Violence and save Grimbone for last. All right, Bubblegum, what do you got for us? And we got a runner. Oh, I like the design of this one, though. It has the gas mask face. Yeah, let's go to it. Let me go out real quick and refresh. OK. Yeah, sorry guys. Everybody jumping in. We're we're at thirty seven, almost thirty eight hundred people in this live. Uh, the cursor thing is basically what happened in the Emerald Hand set. There is something that pops up, which is you may see a cursor fly around the screen. Um, that was actually that was not purposeful, but uh, it's now a rare thing. At least that's how we see it, which is um, our original uh, when it was rendered out. Um, it's basically like a signature as we see it from our. Uh, so it, it, we have designer. different team members that are helping render these out. Yeah. Um, and uh, each clan set takes roughly about uh, 27 hours um, with a strong computer to render out the entire set you see here. Um, when Emerald Hand rendered out, um, the person who was rendering it uh, had their computer fall asleep. So they would just check in once in a while, uh, move their cursor around their mouse just to wake up their computer and see how the render was going. Well. Unreal captured that in the process of rendering it. And so some of the Emerald Hand, not all of them, just some of them have a little cursor that moves around on them. So I very much view this as like the digital uh, version of sort of like the no shadow first edition Charizard. Um, so this is my little boy side coming up. But uh, when I was young, I actually pulled this out of a pack. Um, it's a no shadow first edition Charizard. and. I didn't understand it too much when I was younger, but as I got older and obviously the craze that's been around this, um, I do understand obviously what that means now. And I very much view this cursor accent as the same thing because, you know, Pokemon, Nintendo, like they have so many people viewing uh, these things um, for quality insurance to make sure this doesn't happen. So that when something like this does, it makes it even more rare. Um, and we did the same thing. I viewed most of the collections out there. Um, and uh, I had our entire team go through everything. And we caught issues. We had to re-render collections for certain issues. Um, but it, <laughs> yeah, you can see it on that one. But uh, wow, that's that's extremely rare. That's one of the one of threes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Joy. It's Whoa, Joy can you send that to yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, you do a search. It's this one. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, let me look it up. So Peggy pulled it up. 
Um, yeah. I'm going to show you guys what a cursor one looks like. Um, where do I do the search here? Let me go back. If you send it to me on Slack, I can't show it here. So. Yeah, we'll just do this okay. and then. We'll we have it. one more crate to open still. And I would suggest you guys stick around because we have a surprise um, for you guys tonight. All right, let's check this bad puppy Do you out. Blow it up? This is yeah. extremely rare, guys. This is a, one of the one of three. Um, so there it is. It's really quick. It just went by. Um, Don't put your cursor on top. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So this is my cursor moving around on the screen right now. This little tiny thing, you see that my cursor is sitting above. That's the cursor from Unreal. Um, so I'm going to let this play. I'm going to stop it again so you can see it one more time. That's it right there. Them circling around. Um, and it just pops in and moves around on screen a little bit and disappears. Um, and that's just because our person was waking their computer up. Um, so this was a complete accident. Uh, it was not something that we intended at all. Um, we looked hard for any defects or anything like that in these. So you can see that these NFTs are extremely clean overall. Um, they look the way they're supposed to look. Um, so <laughs> yeah, we just missed this. I, I mean, I would personally think this is more rare now than a Lord because even the Lord doesn't have it. In terms of title, Lord is still the highest, but I personally think this one is way more rare uh, than a Lord. <laughs> Yeah, Shader, you said yours is on the right side. Yeah, that's why uh, they're all different because, again, um, when it was rendering out, of course, it's uh, <laughs> it's our team member, like, shaking his uh, mouse. So they are all going to be different. But Yeah, there, there is no commonality to these because it was purely human error in the process of moving this thing around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are asking if it's, like, a a trait or it could be a trait it is not a trait no, we're just gonna we'll never be able to make it a trait yeah um, leave it as is this is purely something that you are going to have to scavenge on your own mm -hmm. and look through people's collections and see what they have yep um in order to find this um because it was it was never built into the metadata it was never built into yeah. our file structure um uh, happy accident I guess. yeah yeah <laughs> hilarious um wait did we open all the crates Ah, we got one left. Grimbone. All, all right, right, guys. Are you all ready for this? The last two Grimbones have been Grandmaster. So let's see what we get. Um, the numbers have all been random between them. But let's see what we pull. It's 131. And not a Grandmaster. This one is a runner that we got. Nice. Common parts, dusk color. Um, I love that color, though. I, I do so love the, the sort of bone ivory color. Yeah. I'm going to Outlands. get out of that and go back to our setup here. Now, the question is Droid, are you going to, would you sell yours? <laughs> I mean, you also had to get that information out there somehow about this. We've yeah. talked about it. People have noticed it, but. Mm -hmm. um, you just send a little whisper to Trump. I know. Let's see. <laughs> Where is this the one that I just pulled? Mm, yes, it is because it's not a Grandmaster. Yeah, this is the one. One, six, three. Let's get closer. So it's using the same head and chest, but it has different mm -hmm. shoulders. It does have one clan part, though, on that shoulder. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah, it's the main grim bone uh, bone armor. Let's see. Look there. See what we got in the actual traits. Shoulder, yeah, left shoulder clan. Well, also the knee too. Oh wow, he's got a clan knee. Yeah. Weird that it generated as a runner. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Well, that is everything that we pulled. So. What we wanted to do tonight, are you prepared for this? Yeah. Let's do it. Um, we wanted to give away the grandmasters uh, that we pulled. Um, so this really just came down to how many grandmasters will we pull. We pulled two grim bones tonight, um, and we want to give this away to you, the audience. Mm -hmm. um, how are we doing this? We don't really, we didn't really let plan this out <laughs> yeah. uh, down to the T, but we wanted to do some trivia 
uh, with everyone here tonight. And whoever gets the trivia right, um, this is why we always say read the comics. Um, you know, uh, uh, know everything you can about Hydro uh, and overall story lore. Um, like that will matter long term. It will always, we'll always matter. Always tell long-term. you like read the comics, read the you know the clan comics. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, the more you know will definitely be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, all right, Peggy, then we got to figure this out real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, what What is our trivia question to throw out there? You know, I think that it may have to be multiple of them, right? So let's try. I'm going to think through it. There was a couple of them that was ha- I had in my head. Let's see. Give me a second. It's a little late for us. I do see people saying raffle some. Well, we do have other things happening in the Mm -hmm. future. So this tonight is purely a thank you from Peggy and I to Mm -hmm. everyone who has been participating and being a part of Kydro. Um, These are meant to be spontaneous. Um, You know, uh, so just count yourself lucky that that two people here are going to be getting uh, this Grandmaster tonight. And okay, so we do trivia here. Does the same person have to answer three questions correct? Or like, how do we maybe... What, what do you, the audience, think is fair? Because we can we can pull up things. It should just be one. Does the audience have to... Does one person have to guess that thing correctly? Uh, it, are they the first one to like, you know, say the thing? Are they the first one to say the thing? Or do they, like Peggy mentioned earlier, does it have to be three times um, that they have to get a question right? Um, I'm up to figure this out with the audience here tonight mm-hmm. uh, in order to make this as fair as possible. I have, while you guys kind of throw out your thoughts, I'm going to talk to Robert about a question that I think maybe I think it's, I think it's a good like warm up one. I'm thinking of this. All right, can you, the audience, hear us again? We are back, uh, unmuted. Um, so we figured out our own way of doing this uh, just now because I haven't seen much pop up here. Um, but the first person to get two of these questions right, and we're going to write this down over here, um, uh, you will be the first winner tonight. There's only going to be two winners uh, who will take these home. Um, so out of these Two first questions. Mm-hmm. Our first question to you is who is the Outlander King? What is his name? I am watching very closely, but no one has gotten it right yet. Nope, no one's right. Come on. Someone got his spirit guardian's name. That's correct. But not his name. Trilogy! You know the story! The Outlander King! (laughs) What is the Outlander King's name? Hey, we got our first one! Right here. Uh, Let me scroll up. I will mention it in just a moment. Uh, Right here. Can you pronounce that? Yeah. 
do a closer look. Addy Bells? Addy Bells dot Ron. Addy Bells dot Ron, you mentioned Tolson. I'm looking up the chat right now. I don't see anyone else who has said Tolson. Uh, so you got the first one right tonight. First point. First point. So we gotta see if you get the second. I see one. other people saying Tolson now, but sorry, it goes to it goes to Addy. Yeah, that? at least at least the first point now. Addy has to get a second one, right? Correct. He has to get a second one. Correct. Yeah. So um, uh, sidebar, we have. Oh wow, there's 4,400 people on right now. Okay. Um. Hold on, hold on. I need to make sure I get this right. I'm going to try to grab a few people who said Tolson. Mm -hmm. So Addie Bell said Tolson first. Yeah. The second person to say Tolson uh, is, I believe, is that uh, Katten dot Ron? Yep. Katen. Take a photo. Uh, and I'll get one more. So we'll have three people in mm -hmm. case these people can't get it right. Um, I don't see another Tolson yet. I saw one earlier. There we go. Uh, Mashong. Okay. All right. So we have three people up for that one. Um, yeah, I know you guys are all saying Tulsa now, but it's too late. So we have three uh, three people who just got that first question yeah. right. So uh, anybody who's just joined right now, we are like 4,452 people right now. Yeah. Um, the What's going on is that we went through all 10 crates, opened them up. Um, two grandmasters came out. So what we're doing tonight is giving away, or today, giving away the Grandmaster, two of them, to the audience here. Um, and what we're doing is uh, trivia, basically, Yeah. for that. Because what we tell you guys a lot, and you guys see we talk about all the time, is like the lore. Read the comics, because it does make a difference as we go forward. Um, sidebar, we're going to figure out that next question. So I uh, I think I already have one, but you want me to clarify with you real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah. Let's all right, let me mute. All right, we are unmuted. So the next question, um, it really, I guess, matters to these next three people. But if they, if they, neither of them get it right, then we'll have to restart have the to cycle again. So, who is the person Ava killed? For anyone who hasn't read the books, sorry for the spoiler. Spoiler. There's a lot that will be coming up in the books that we will be doing in trivia in the future. We ask that you continue to read the comics um, and know the story so that you can answer things like this. Um, all right, I see some answers flowing in already. Uh, this time from YouTube. Um, all right, I'm scrolling through. I don't see any correct answers yet. <laughs> Someone said Geo. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing people. Wait, hold on. What did I just see? Is that the right one? Okay, go. That's not it. No, I haven't seen it yet. No, that's not right. No. That's not right. That's not right. Lucas, you guys aren't even trying. Come on. Come on. <laughs> We've got Shinji. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question is, again, if you want to repeat it, just in uh, case. Who did Ava kill? Someone said, repeat the question. Who did Ava kill? This is a pretty... This is pretty deep. It's pretty in-depth You question. would have had to read really deep into the comics for this one. I probably went from, like, level easy to level hardcore. Like, we went from, like, a number one to, like... Yeah. Probably, like, a nine. We'll give it like another 30 seconds. If not, we probably have this change up to the next question. Yeah, if you can help watch that one, Peggy. I'm not seeing anything correct. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. 
Ah, <laughs> trilogy. Uh, hold on. Oh no, they heard that. Uh, almost. I don't see anyone else getting it though. <laughs> I see all of your trivia is dumpster fire here. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's a, it's a lot to read. All right, I'm going to I'm going to call it because no one is really getting it. There's only two people, but I'll put you both in for the winning. Um, so it means you'll have to get other questions right. Uh, I don't see any of the original uh, people saying it, um, but trilogy, you got it right. Um, so did Jason. Uh, it is Anc Anchor. Yeah. Anchor is the correct name of the person who Ava killed. Okay. And then we're... and then the other one was a uh, trilogy further up here there there we go okay all right so now that you all know it's encore of course you're all going to say it but i'm only going to count those two people we're going to start over with one more question um to see out of these people who gets them right yeah um of course okay. people can throw in we'll balance as things come down the pipe but um peggy question. and i have to mute ourselves sidebar. one more time sidebar Oh my god, you guys are making me sweaty on this one today, tonight. So we had to pick the scale of like 1 to 10 where we're going to go here. So. so we went a little easier this time yeah. around, but you know, it depends on how much you've all read the book. this is like a 2. Yeah. Okay. What is the passcode name for the box that Ava opens? Again, what is the passcode name or passcode that is used to open the box? Let's scroll up a little bit. I don't see anyone who has reoccurred here. So it might have been too easy for you guys. I don't see the reoccurring same people. I don't see. either. I'm searching. Either the chat is broken because there's so many people commenting it or those people fell out, but I don't I don't see any of the reoccurring names mentioning uh, the title. Well, shall we ask one more? Because I have one here from, yeah. I don't know. Hey, wrong. finally. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm looking at the original people here who had done it. Uh, Kate and uh, Ron, I'm sorry. It's not Grimbone. That's not correct. Yeah. Uh, I would just take a look at the comics again. Um, the first person, though, I do see, uh, I see axiology.ron. I believe you were one of the ones before, before you just said chat is broken. Um, 
I don't see one from you though. Someone's saying Peggy, Peggy. Uh, so the the person who got it right tonight in the chat that I see uh, is Trilogy. Um, Trilogy said Falar. And there's a lot of people here who said Falar as well. But Trilogy, uh, that's two marks. Yeah, two um, right ones. Yeah, those are the two right ones. So we're, we're going to mark Trilogy down um, as one of the Grimbone uh, Grandmaster winners. So congrats. Good job. Thank you for following along and reading the story in detail. Yeah. I mean, I mean I'll throw out there that Trilogy uh, has been with us since. We've seen you floating around for a while, Trilogy. For some four there, years so. now. Uh, so he's coming from TikTok when we, when, even before the comic even came out. So uh, he's been following with us this entire journey up to this point. So. I think that people had asked here about like web two versus web three people. I mean, again, trilogy came from the web two side. So it's a uh, really cool to see this kind of come about. Um, so axiology, I'm sorry, <laughs> but thank live. you for being a good sport. Yeah. Um, so uh, for trilogy, please um, uh, send us a message uh, mm -hmm. on our X account for Kydro. Yeah. Uh, with your wallet address so we can airdrop that one to you tonight. Yeah. Um, all right, we're going to move on. Uh, there's one more Grandmaster available uh, in our list. Um, wow, we're at 5,000 people right now. Thank you, everyone, for turning out. For anyone who uh, is just joining us, uh, we are doing trivia um, for the Grandmasters that Peggy and I pulled tonight in the collection. Um, I see someone here saying there is an echo. Um this nothing has changed in our setup since our play test so it's a true chat there might just be a echo. slight echo if there is but um let's see uh let's see i see you there yeah. uh ibles yeah dot no. ron peggy that is correct yes yeah. uh what i can see though is that yours came up for me after trilogy um in this list so I'll leave your name in the running uh, mm -hmm. for the next one, but we're going to start pulling uh, new ones for everyone. Um, but you were one of the first ones to respond, and we want to um, we want to keep that going. All right, so we're going to move on. We got one more to go um, tonight. Um, Peggy and I have to resync as to uh, what the next question is going to be. So let's get back to you. There. Okay, you guys can hear, hear us now. Thank you. You saw us talking. Sorry, I have two mute buttons. I'm like double muting so you guys can't hear us say these things. Um, so I've just been talking now randomly. I'm sorry. So uh, just to kind of restate how we're doing this tonight, um, we want to make sure uh, that we honor the people who have answered prior 
So you're still in the running for this next one if you're able to get it correctly. But if none of you answer this correctly, um, then uh, it will go to the next people uh, who are going to call the names out tonight mm -hmm. uh, for this. So for anyone who's new here, we're doing uh, uh, a contest right now. We're basically um, uh, we're throwing out trivia questions. Um, and if you answer those correctly, uh, we're requiring that you answer at least two questions properly. You get to win one of the Grandmaster Spark Suits we pulled tonight. Um, there's only one more left, so only one more person can win this. All right. So the next question is, what is the school that all the students go to in Kydro, including Ava? Again, what is the school that Ava goes to uh, in Kydro? I think there's a few ways of answering this one, but if someone gets the actual naming structure correct, um, that will be right. And if Trilogy, don't answer this. I think we were muted last time, um, but you already won, so you're out of the running tonight. Um, if you answer it, I'm gonna have to restart the question. Don't give them the answer. Yeah, that was a new person, though. No, I'll screenshot that one. Mm -hmm. Did that person say it before? Mm -mm. Her new? Yeah. Another one. Yeah, yeah, get you you. Thank you. It's fascinating the names that are coming up. That the right person from before? No. That is it, isn't it? Okay, well, you guys are correct. This is the Union of Arms. Mm -hmm. um, just had to mute in order to read through everything here, but um, I don't see any of the past people answering this one at all um, correctly. Um, so we're going to have to move on. So we're going to have to move on. We now have new... Uh, we now have um, new people in for the running as well. Um, Caton, I saw you say Union of Agriculture, Union of Life. You did say Union of Arms, but you said Union of Life and Union of Arms at the same time. So, um, and it is the Union of Arms Mech Academy. Uh, that is the proper way uh, of stating it. Um, so that one would just have to be realigned a little bit. Um, all right, we're gonna have to do one more, one more question. Peggy has uh, those names down, but we will, uh, get back to you guys in just a moment after meeting.
Thank you. I see we have uh, 5,300 people here. Um, I'm hoping this last one is to be able to knock it out of the park. But before we give you guys the trivia question, um, we uh, are circling right now all the people who are in the running um, for this currently. So we will read uh, those names out to you in just a moment once we have collected them all. Okay. Um, there we go. Uh, the first, uh, the, we're unmuted. We're, okay. we're unmuted. So I have Cuzzy, Union of Arms. Cuzzy. And then I have Catan.ron. Catan. I have M-X-R-K-E-D-Z.ron. We got Shader. Does Catan count? Because it said Union of Life and, and Union of Arms. So yes or no? Well, Catan is mm -hmm. from before, and they got one of the very first ones, right? So Catan does still count. He just needs to get a second one. Okay. And then we got Shader, yep. Union of Arms, and we got Seeker. Okay, so we have four? Or no, five. five. We have five people for the running right now. All right, so the next question, and hopefully uh, this is the final one. Yes. Do you remember what it was? Yes. The question is, who is Huxley's brother? I'm expecting this to break the chat, but Again? who is Huxley's brother? Oh, you guys are killing me. This one? Yeah, this. All right, team, uh, this was a really hard one tonight, but the first person we see in the lineup who did get it right that was reoccurring, Peggy, is? Yeah, I'm going to have to spell it out because it's hard to read. Uh, it's M-X-R-K-E-D-Z dot Ron. You right. are the winner of the second Grandmaster. Um, you spelt, uh, you corrected yourself. You spelt Lucas wrong, but you immediately corrected yourself and you spelt Lucas correctly. Um, so you are the winner. Uh, of tonight's um, second Grandmaster. Um, wow, this was a really thrilling and excited night yeah. uh, that you all ran us through. Um, it's like I'm kicked out now <laughs> of our own page, but uh, we had a lot of fun doing this with all of you. So MX, uh, we need you to message us over on Twitter mm -hmm. um, as well in a private DM private message uh, with your wall address so we can airdrop this to you Yeah. Um, as well. I want to thank everyone for turning out though. Uh, we have 5,400 people here with us tonight mm -hmm. um, for this live. Uh, it's not even a play test. Yeah. But we're really glad that we're able to hand these out to you guys. Um, it was really fun being able to open these crates with all of you and spend this time with you guys tonight. Um, I can't believe we've been going for an hour and a half. So mm -hmm. thank you guys for sticking with us and through getting through those brutal Brutal, 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 brutal uh, quizzes we were throwing your way. <laughs> the the scale's gonna get crazy. So uh, again, thank you guys so much. Um, catch you guys next time. Yeah, we're gonna have to end this tonight. Really appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. There's gonna be more of these, and please stick around for next week. Um, we're gonna be doing the one of one drop. That's gonna be going to one person. Um, they have to still claim it on their side if they want to be uh, forever immortalized into the Kaido universe. Um, or if they want to sell it. Um, but that's going to be dropped to one lucky uh, raffle uh, collector of the journals. Mm -hmm. um, there's also many more announcements next week. Um, 
I know we just did a, uh, a, a suit mint, but there are so many more updates and things coming. Um, this project is just getting started. Thanks everyone. Really appreciate you all turning out tonight. Bye. Bye.